Alright guys, we're gonna video. So today we'll play the fourth mission of the Arcidus campaign. And as you can see, it's still in the underground, so we cannot really see anything on the map. So let's just go into the game. And as you can see, there are three other players in this mission. Matriarchs, Helldwarfs and Magma Demons. Uh, so let's see what is ahead of us. Of course, let's start with the opening animation. Now the exit from the underground caves is really within reach. However, Brathamos still needs to fight his way through the last sections, which are occupied by the Hell Dwarves and Magma Demons. Fortunately, he has encountered the cave matriarchs that were hiding here. Their mistress, Miela, decided to help Brathamos fight the Hell Dwarves, knowing that she and her matriarchs couldn't get out of there alone. Yeah, so we are already pretty close to the exit from the underground, but first we need to still get through the dwarves and magma demons, but we will also find a new ally here in the caves. So first quest is to explore the cave and get the resources needed to build a new base, and maximum population is 180 in this mission. So let's just make some simple groups. And of course we'll try to tank everything with our hero. Yeah, but since we are going to build a base, maybe it's not the worst idea to free up some population by letting some of our, uni uh, some of our units die. Also, as you can see here, you can pick up a mana dust. So we will take that. It was not even defended by anyone. And now, basically, I'm just gonna explore with my hero because he can easily solo anything here. And then maybe I will sacrifice the Hive Stingers. But first of all, I want to see what's here in the in those cave lines. Yeah, here's another item, healing dust 300 HP, and we just need to kill one gargoyle here, so that's really easy for our hero. I can also heal myself with lifesteal. As you can see, we have only two harvesters and one summoner, so the start uh, of the base will be really slow, but now we have enough time to clear everything. And as I said, let's free up some population, so we will start clearing this path as well uh, with our units. Of course, check all the corners, because usually the items are in the corners. So if you just walk straight, you might avoid them. So now, this leads to this one path. There are no other ways to go, so it's really simple. There was nothing on the top, but we still cleared it. Uh, here it divides again. As you can see, here is an expansion, so that's definitely a place where we need to go, but we also want to clear everything else. Of course, it would be nice to get some experience from those guys, but we are playing Fallen, so we would need the Soul Trebe building for that. Right now, we are just killing them to get through it. As you can see, there are some lava walls. Lava walls. So let's destroy them and see what's behind them. Here is a healing rune. And I think there are some items and enemies. Also healing runes, so maybe we can heal our army, even though I want to let some harvest, uh, some high stingers die. It's not really, re really needed right now. This world will be mine. Yeah, here are some Varangis. Yeah, one unit died. Those are just neutral enemies, you cannot attack them, so that's fine. Here are some ranged Varangis. I will probably kill all of my high stingers here, but as I said, it doesn't really matter. Let's just teleport our hero in the front, so my high spitters don't get killed. Here are some green Varangis, which are a little bit stronger, but only two of them here, so it's fine. 
and it's still no problem for my hero. It is actually a third one. Okay. And I'm expecting a mighty warang in the end. Yeah, here he is. Actually, more of them. Okay. Or we can maybe summon some units. Maybe there will be a third one. Yes, here he is. So let's just bring him there as well. Before my units disappear. I will also heal my hero. And I still didn't see a single item here, but... Hopefully something will be in the end. At the end. Yeah, they are quite strong, but... It's easy when you have summoned units. This is neutral, and here are some resources. So actually 900 gems, that's really good, and 700 wood. Yeah, so it was definitely definitely worth it to go here. And then there is this uh, huge fog of dust uh, that leads to to the next mission. Yeah? So I don't uh, want to spoil anything, but right now you cannot go anywhere and the next mission will start, uh, I think, right here. So that's why it looks like this here. So let's return. Uh, everything is full HP except one health on my hero, but probably don't need to waste those healing runes right now. Uh, I could have just cleared the path to the expansion first, started building here and uh, then continue, but... I mean then continue exploring, but I don't have gold for the expansion, so... If you look at the quest, you need to gather the resources that are needed to build the new expansion. So first we need to find a source of gold somewhere. Yeah, but uh, that doesn't mean that we cannot clear the path to the expansion first, of course. Yeah, so let's just wait for the unit. I can also use the teleport ability to get there a little bit quicker with my hero. Yeah, he's a little bit slower usually than the units, even though high splitters are also slow, but high stingers are much faster, so then it's really important to use the teleportability on cooldown, so your hero is not left behind your other units. Actually, as you can see, the high splitter is still a little bit faster than your hero. I don't know if there are any enemies that are protecting the... the expansion place, but I will still rather check with my army than letting my uh, villagers die. Yeah, so here are four mineral fields and some trees, so it's really good, everything we need. Let's check the area around. Here is just some smoke and stones. Yeah, we can start harvesting. And we need 400 gold, of course. I'm expecting some enemies here. Here are also some trees. So here we will see. And here are some scarabs. Scrappers. So once again, I'm tanking with my hero. Yeah, only three of them, so it was really simple. But there are more behind them, so we need to be prepared for that. Actually, let's check this first, because it leads to the area where I already was. So let's just kill some of those units and then we will move. Maybe I could summon some units here, because there is lots of enemies. And my hero probably wouldn't be able to heal all of that. Yeah, but when you have summoned units, it's really simple. You can actually teleport here, pull some more. Even though my knight will disappear really soon. I might need to retreat here because I won't have enough damage to kill this before they can probably kill my hero. Yeah, so let's just retreat a little bit. I also damaged my Hive Spitter, but we can use those uh, healing runes or maybe the Unholy Regeneration eventually. 
Yeah, so let's wait for mana so we can summon some new units and in the meantime I will just check this area if there is maybe a treasure or something. But it doesn't seem like that so we can just return. We still didn't get the gold so we cannot build an expansion. And let's just continue this way. Now I can summon new knights, so let's do that. Of course, I don't want to lose my hive spitters here. One is getting really damaged, but we should be fine. And let's see if there are any more of those enemy units. No, we completed the quest, now a cutscene. Noble Matriarchs, what are you doing here? We've been hiding here for many years. We have no way to get out. The only way out is to the north, where the Hell Forges of the Hell Dwarves and Magma Demons stand. Join me with your sisters. You won't regret it. Well, we can't get out of here on our own anyway. Yeah, so we basically now met our new ally, uh, Niela. She's the leader of Matriarchs. And she also gave us the resources that we need to build the uh, new base. So let's immediately start building here. And actually there is an expansion right here that you can also take. So we will just move here immediately and once this is finished I will get enough gold for an another expansion and then we can immediately start uh, mining here as well. Uh, enemies will be attacking from here. Um, this is the only place where they will be attacking. And uh, our ally has some towers, uh, the hero and some matriarchs. He will be also producing more of them but they are not too strong, so the only only hero that will, oh, I mean the only unit that will really help us is the hero, and of course those towers, but uh, they will get destroyed really quickly. Also, there are some cursed trees that will deal some damage, but uh, those also won't stay alive for too long. Yeah, so before we can build those expansions, because that will take some time, we can clear the caves around. As you can see, there are still more neutral enemies. So let's kill this. Here is a cave fisher female, so she's really strong. Let's summon some units. Yeah, but this should be really simple. I could save that knight for some extra damage, but I don't want to, don't want to care about it right now. And we are actually getting 300 gold from this uh, huge cave fisher. So that's really good because now I actually already have the gold to build that expansion and I can also make a control form. And here is another huge cave fisher. Now I actually lost one unit but that's fine. Let's actually kill the small one first so I'm not taking an extra damage. It will be unnecessary. And if I start dying, I will just teleport away because she, the cave fisher is really slow and she won't be able to catch up to me. But first of all, let's try to heal. And now I will just teleport away and kite. This world will be mine. And so now I will heal a little bit, kite away. And everything works fine. We got another 300 gold, so we can start making new harvesters. Also, as you can see, uh, there is a resurrection point, so if my hero dies, he will just resurrect. Unfortunately, it's not here. That would be, of course, a little bit closer to the fighting point, but uh, at least still the hero will get resurrected, so we should be fine. Yeah, so let's summon new knights and let's kill the hopefully last. Uh, huge cave fisher here, but maybe there is more of them, I don't know. 
or actually made, <laughs> let's say it's not hopefully because I'm getting resources from them so it's really useful to kill them but uh, I probably won't have too much more time for this so if there is no more of those it will be still fine. Second fortress will be finished really soon. Uh, let's make a def deformer. Okay, I got damaged a little bit here, but it's fine. It was just a small cave fisher. Now let's break through this wall of lava walls, and then we can continue. Actually, let's make a summoner here first, so I can build here and also get some more population. It is an item that we can get, just 100 potion heal, but it's fine and it seems like there is nothing more here. But we still can explore here and I think this is a healing, a healing mushroom, so we can use that as a healing fountain. That will be really useful. And let's build a deformer here, make some harvesters. Of course I will also start harvesting some wood really soon, but right now I have enough since I picked up that 700 right here. So that made it a little bit easier for me. Now let's make a hive. And actually in this mission you can already build a vengeance hall and I believe you can make avengers here in this mission, so that should be really, really helpful. Yeah, we have a chamber of the avenger here, so definitely we can make we can make Avengers. So here we have some healing runes, so let's just pick one of them, but I think there is the healing fountain, so we probably don't need to waste those. And there will be probably no more enemies here, so we can just return to our ally. So let's build like two hives. And then let's make a control form and then I will make another summoner here. We also need more harvesters in our main town or maybe this will be our main town because I want to have production buildings here near the fighting point but of course the, this was our first town. Our hero is already fully healed and now I don't think there is anything else we can really explore except going of course this way where the enemy is. Uh, there is this really long path uh, where there is like a lake or something, then uh, abyss and then you eventually get to the enemy town where there are uh, all those hell dwarfs and magma demons. Yeah, so yeah, here are some barrels. It's really huge but it's quite far away so we can probably still explore at least this area, but I don't know when exactly they will attack me so it might be a little bit too risky. So, let's actually change some groups here, fine. Now I have a new summoner. Here we have six, so let's send three to wood. And here we can start building a soul trap somewhere in the back because you cannot produce anything in it, so let's not waste any space. And actually let's build an incubator here. I will build it here so I can at least bring wood from there, I mean to it. And maybe another deformer right here so I can build even more buildings. Maybe we'll build some towers here so we can make the defense even stronger. As you can see, the ally, I mean the enemy is giving us quite lots of time to actually build everything we need. But... Uh, then the attacks will be even stronger, of course. So we need to really prepare really well for that. And uh, let's make a few more summoners. Build the incubator, as I said. And then we will maybe also build a wild cocoon here. Maybe let's make a few high stingers, so we can at least slow down the enemy. Yeah, those are the materials that our ally is producing, as you can see also has an upgrade for armor on them, so uh, I mean they only have 140 HP, so they will still die basically immediately, but 
At least he has them leveled up. And now, since the Soul Trap is ready, I can probably just make some of those Vengeance Halls. Uh, let's try to make three of them. We'll see, we'll have enough resources for that and a whole of Whispers. I'm not sure what exactly is this needed for, but it surely is needed for something, otherwise it wouldn't be enabled here in this mission. So we will make that. Maybe it's needed to upgrade your towers actually. That's probably the main point why we have them. Uh, let's try to build one tower. Yeah, here you need the whole of whispers. So we only need this building to upgrade our towers, but I still want to make some of those towers anyway, so let's build this building uh, as well. If I remember correctly, the population should be 180 in this mission, so we still need a lot more summoners that we will make into control forms. Uh, I don't see it right now. I 180, yes, I was right. Let's just make a group for our all our production buildings, bring our hero in the front. Here we have some basic units. That's basically the army that I had in the beginning. I lost all of those hive stingers, but I already made them again. And maybe I lost one hive spitter, but it should be fine. And here we can make the wild cocoon. So now I will have all the buildings. The only building that is missing right now is the chamber of the Avenger and that just unlocked for me as well. So now we have actually all the buildings. We also have all the harvesters we need. Uh, there is enough resources everywhere, so time is also not a problem. Our ally is not getting resources from normal sources. He's draining it from those trees, so we don't really have to worry about him. This is the first attack of some dwarves. Our ally is also attacking, so that's good. Hopefully they won't destroy buildings here. As you can see, they have some stone golems in the back, so let's actually summon some knights. Uh, my ally is also summoning some uh, skeletons here with, her, with his heroes, so that is really useful. And as you can see, we are basically just walking through them. The only problem are those go golems. Because they are taking uh, 0% from harm, and I'm not actually sure, maybe harm is our lifesteal or something. So I think Matriarch uh, that have lifesteal as basic attack cannot deal damage to those ones. So that's something you need to destroy, or your ally can destroy it with skeletons, of course. So I think maybe he's using. Uh, mana on his uh, starting matriarch here to summon skeletons but i don't think he will be summoning skeletons in the attack yeah, but it's good that he's attacking because he will at least export the map for me but i think uh, he will immediately get attacked as well with huge attack from the demons yeah this is the magma demons dwarves so they also have dwarves but they will have magma demons instead of go uh, stone golems as you can see, those materials have no chance, so you really need to do something here. You can't just let your ally do the work for you. And let's make like three more summoners and I think the population should be done. We can also build like two more vengeance halls. Maybe we can also make some hive spitters. Even though we probably won't have enough space here to fight with them. Those skeletons last for a pretty long time, so... They should still be useful in the next fight, which will be really soon because they are already coming. So now let's build one more hive and maybe that will be enough actually. Yes, yeah, so they are already coming. We can immediately summon new units because the mana regeneration rate is just really high on Vratimos. And those skeletons are also pretty useful, of course. We can also upgrade our tower to have a little bit better range. I think that also is upgraded here. I mean the upgrade also increases the range. 
And then let's actually pick up this uh, potion here. So we have another item. I will just go there with my hero and if enemies come I will just teleport away. That's probably the easiest solution. Yeah, those doors are pretty durable but they will die eventually so it's fine. You cannot upgrade the HP I think. That is usually upgraded here in Avengers of the Avenger, Chamber of the Avenger. So you cannot upgrade it in this mission. We have only the baseline Avenger, but it's still pretty strong unit. So I will be ma I will be making lots of them. So keep producing, and once we get full population, we will of course try to attack. Yeah, here is also a health potion. Mana potion and healing potion, so we have both of them. And I will also check this side. Oh, actually they attacked from this side, so I didn't see them with my hero. Uh, of course I will wait for them to come to towers. That will be much easier to defend, and I will just come on them from the back with my hero. Uh, let's actually teleport here, summon some knights and then retreat a little bit. This tower is getting a little bit destroyed by this Hellcaster, but he should die soon enough. Yeah, if you help your ally really well, then those Matriarchs are really effective, but if you let your ally die a little bit here, then you will need to defend everything yourself. Yeah, but when he starts summoning all of those skeletons, then it's really good. But keep in mind that the skeletons that are summoned by Matriarchs last only, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or one minute, while if it's summoned by Niela, then it lasts like five minutes or something, so also really important to keep in mind that no, not all of those skeletons will stay there forever. And uh, of course I'm still healing automatically here with the unholy regeneration, my ally is trying to attack here once again, but he will fail as always. Let's just try to make a few more units. I could make a few more production buildings, but probably not needed until I have full population filled up. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to build more towers, because while when you are attacking, you will be attacking uh, either here on or the other side, where your ally is always attacking, but the attack can come from the other enemy, from the other side, and then of course you will need some defense at your home. So you either need to leave some units here, or you will need to rely on your ally to defend that. And it's probably not the smartest thing to do, so it's just better to build some towers here. And then you can probably rely on your ally. Yeah, there is a lot of units, but uh, hopefully Avengers will be able to deal with that. We have... Oh, I mean... Yeah, our ally has 1800 experience, we have 400 less, but uh, I mean he still can he anyways cannot upgrade his material, so it doesn't really matter, and my units are still level 1, so this is not enough for an upgrade. I actually don't know the values that you need as fallen to get a new level on your unit. But once you get like 10,000 or something, you'll probably have already level 5. So let's make a few more hive spitters and we are basically at the population cap. Just a few more units, maybe one more attack from our enemies and then we can we can start attacking ourselves. Uh, we can actually make some upgrades here, I totally forgot about that. We can upgrade damage for high hive spitters, movement speed, and then even more damage and armor. Actually, maybe let's build another incubator so we can make it a little bit quicker. I still have full population even if I take one summoner from the uh, control form, so let's just do it like this. Those upgrades are only for, for hive guards that I'm not making right now, so we don't care about that. 
I mean, we would be really uh, good. I mean, the hive guards would be really good against those golems because they cannot attack uh, flying units. But they still have lots of those range doors that would deal with me really quickly, as we saw in the previous mission, kind of. So I will rather not make them. Let's summon some knights here. And I already have lots of units, so it should be quite easy to kill them. Also, the tree is helping us a little bit here, with some damage, you can see it kind of here. It has pretty recent range. And yeah, maybe let's retreat a little bit. So we can use those towers a little bit better. My also, I also retreated, so that's really good. And once those bone archers die, we should be fine. Maybe they will kill some high spitters, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, incubators are done, so we can start producing, uh, I mean upgrading there, researching some upgrades. And I mean they just injured some hive spitters, killed one of them, and we already have level 2 for our units, so that's really good. It's maybe 3000 or something. Oh, and this is a magma demon attack, that's the strongest one. So let me teleport in the front, summon some units here. Maybe they will destroy some towers, but the main thing is of course to just destroy them. I mean they have 1000 HP, but they are dying quite quickly and they take more damage from cold, which is the damage type of our hero, so he is basically one-shotting them. Or not one-shotting, but he's dealing huge damage to them four times, so that's like 260 damage, so four shotting them basically. Our ally is attacking, so maybe we could help him, let's attack with him together, and uh, when I have time I will build those towers that I mentioned, but now it's not really the best moment. I usually like to attack uh, on the left first, because the, ally, the enemy there is a little bit weaker, but let's just try to utilize our ally now and attack with him on the right side. Of course I have some more units here that I want to use, but I still won't be able to fit everything on the one place anyway, so it doesn't really matter that they are a little bit behind. Now let's bring this summoner here and build some of those towers, as I mentioned. Yeah, this should be probably enough, maybe yeah, we don't have more gold, so <laughs> this has to be enough. Now why you don't even have gold for uh, more upgrades? Maybe let's uh, remove some units here. And like this we should be fine, so let's fight. Mm. It would be nice to get my hero in the front so we can summon some knights. Okay, my ally basically just died here. I'm trying to force myself in the front as much as I can, so I get as much as many units fighting at the same time here. I'll teleport back a little bit. Maybe we can actually use some items, summon even more units. Even though this is getting quite difficult. Maybe use the healing dust here. Yeah, but this is just really disadvantageous position. That is why I like to attack from the other side because then you can just swarm them from both sides. So let's make sure that we are producing units. Oh, they are actually attacking, but this should be fine, hopefully. They are also a little bit stuck there, but they are still fighting with many more units. Let's use some heals here. Okay, now it's getting really bad for my hero, so let's actually retreat. My ally is still alive, so let's help him with some attacks. Before we retreat and... And now we can just run away. Oh, actually our ally has some problems with those stone golems. 
but we should be able to destroy them with our towers, hopefully. Yeah, our ally will hopefully heal somewhere. Or I will just uh, life steal one matriarch or Nela and we should be fine. As you can see, they just cannot attack the Songolem, but towers can, so it's fine. Let's just rebuild what they destroyed. Just like this. Oh, actually we have an idle harvester. We ran out of trees here a little bit. Let's just move them to our expansion. That should be fine. Just like this. And now we actually cannot make more upgrades that we would uh, actually use. I don't think we need more uh, more hive spitters, so let's just keep producing uh, uh, Avengers, Avengers, and I will also upgrade towers probably. So let's save some resources. I won't build more vengeance halls now. I will build them later. There's another attack. I mean, we killed something in the attack, but it was nothing uh, too huge. I mean, ours are basically finished, so once we defend this, we should be able to repair them, or I mean upgrade them. Let's actually start it right now, it's only 30 seconds, and it costs me 900 gold, and we have 9 towers. And my ally still has his towers here, so it's fine. We, he lost one here, but... He still has two more. This one is not upgraded, but uh, the one in the middle is. Actually, the damage of the unupgraded tower is higher, but uh, this one hits multiple targets, so it's of course more valuable. We can maybe make two more high spitters, so we have at least ten of them, and now let's just produce more Avengers, as I said. Also, I wanted to heal my hero, so let's just heal from Niela. She will heal really quickly and I will get some extra HP. Uh, I won't make the same mistake again and attack with my ally. He basically did nothing there and I just attacked from uh, disadvantageous position. So I won't do that again. And now let's just make one more Avenger and build two more Vengeance Halls. So we can produce Avengers a little bit quicker next time we need to rebuild our army, which will be probably really soon. So let's do it like this. I, shall not be beaten, I mean we have unholy regeneration of Ratimos, but it's super slow, so we just need to heal him with life steals, kind of. Yeah, but those towers should be super effective against this and they stand no chance anymore, I mean our enemies. There are still those go stone golems, but it should be fine, our ally just once again doing basically nothing to our enemies. And they are taking full damage, but Matirax has on have only 10 damage, so it's still really low. So this will be group number 4 and I think we are still waiting for one more Avenger, but probably don't need to wait for that. We can just attack right away and uh, this time I will attack on the left side. Actually we have some more units here that I forgot to add to my group, so let's fix that. Uh, I built those towers there, so it should be fine. We don't need to defend ourselves and let's just make safe. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Yeah, I upgraded the movement speed of Hive Spitters, so now they are just rushing in the front, but of course I will wait with them. Also I will teleport my hero in the front. And we should be able to group up somewhere around here. There is the last Avenger. Let's keep him at home, for example, and just queue up some more of them. We are actually running out of gems a little bit as well, but uh, hopefully that won't be a problem in the long, long run. 
and now let's just summon some units here and start pushing. As you can see, it's much wider here. I can just use all of my units at once. Even though the enemy is really strong here, we should be able to push through it with one on or two attacks. Of course, I will just teleport behind with my hero. Eh, this probably won't be enough, but... If the first attack that I made was also on this side, I would already be uh, destroying their buildings. Maybe we can move some of our Avengers that are a little bit damaged in the back. Once they lost those melee dwarves, they are not dealing so much damage to us now. Because those guys have here's damage and fire damage. And here is bash. And we are taking only 10% from pierce and 50 from fire. So once they lose those melee guys, they are basically really useless against us, except uh, those stone golems, but I don't have too many of them, so it's also fine. So let's just uh, change the early point, bring some more units. Now I actually removed my group number 4, but hopefully it won't be a problem. Yeah, let's make it like this. Yeah, my hero is already basically full HP because I was using the life steal basically on cooldown and now we just need to move this way. As you can see I still have more units. Arrows melee guys are really dangerous but they are dying pretty quickly since we don't have too many of them. But there is the second enemy. So we need to be quite careful here. So we don't fight uh, so we don't have to fight both of them at once. Also be nice to heal my units, but don't really have opportunity for that. And here are already the enemy health forges that you need to destroy. Once again you can capture them uh, when they repair, but I don't think you can make any units in them, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, enemies attacking, but hopefully towers and our ally will take care of them. Maybe we can use some Avengers here to help. And uh, maybe there are some treasures in the back, I think there is a healing mushroom, so we can heal our army there. And then we'll go and uh, destroy the second enemy, of course. Uh, basically we just completed the first objective here, that was to defeat Hell Dwarfs. Uh, now we need to only defeat the Magma Lord. So we don't even need to destroy the whole enemy, we just need to kill their Lord. And we also need to protect cave materials, but of course uh, that's what we were doing the whole game. So let's heal uh, here a little bit and then we'll move on. Uh, I think the enemy uh, enemy boss that we need to kill, the Magma Lord or what was his name, is somewhere around here. So maybe if I go from behind uh, it should work fine. Yeah, those Avengers are healing pretty quickly here, so that won't take too long, and I have full population, so that should be also okay. Yeah, we have some more Avengers on the way. So let's leave it like this, uh, teleport with our hero in the front, and here are just some crates, you cannot pick up anything. Our ally attacking again, okay. Here are actually some neutral rats that we can kill, uh, basically one shot. I don't know if they drop anything, probably not. And here is here are some health forges. Actually, there is the attack that was preparing uh, of magma demons. They already attacked us once, but we know that they are pretty easy to defeat when you uh, when you have the right counter, and they are not even fighting. Oh, actually, they just attacked. So. Four of them will arrive here, but hopefully we will be able to deal with them. I will leave two Avengers here and of course all the towers and my ally. That should be enough together. Avengers are also pretty effective against the Hellforges, so we can easily walk through this. And here, here is the Magma Lord, so he has 10,000 HP, 300 attack. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a problem. Let's actually summon some units just to make sure. 
And they also have cold damage, so that will be even easier. Because once again, he's taking more damage from cold. And once I kill him, all the enemy units should surrender, I believe. So let's see. Yeah, there are, they are neutral, so we don't even need to fight the huge army that is here in front of the enemy. So this is definitely the better play to a better way to play this and that you destroy the enemy on the left first because now you don't need to fight all of this. Uh, we got a new quest, find the exit from the cave to the surface and push the mysterious objects to the runes. Also there are some more enemies here. Uh, so this is the only path that we didn't take yet, so we need to continue this way of course. There will be some spiders that we need to kill. Of course the full army is super easy. This is no longer a challenge, it's just uh, for the purpose of the storyline. Yeah, a little bit harder here to uh, work with the camera, but hopefully we'll see everything well. So as you saw, this mission was pretty easy when you uh, when I picked up all the items in the beginning. I got all the extra resources here and uh, made instantly two expansions. But if you play it for the first time and you don't know all of those things, it might be actually quite difficult because then you will need to defend basically just the third hero in the beginning. You won't have too many resources and you will have a really slow start. Also, if you try to destroy the yellow enemy first, as I actually tried in the beginning, but then I changed my mind. So if you try the whole game, then it will be even harder because you will need to kill all of those units that are there. Uh, and I didn't have to do that, of course. Yeah, so this is just a matter of time, walking through this actually quite long cave. We have our life class high speeder here. Uh, I wanted to check the experience actually. 31,000, okay. So when you have 31,000 you have level 5 on everything, but I don't know uh, how much you actually need it. If it was 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, I don't know. But this is enough, obviously. This so let's take our hero here None and uh, we found the exit and now we need to push the mysterious objects to the runes. So, as you can see, uh, there are no symbols, so you just push it. One, two, and three. And as you can see, the fourth is missing, so that will be the storyline. There will be a short, uh, short cutscene, so I will let you listen to it, of course. The quest is completed like this. Oh, actually, sorry, <laughs> there was not a cutscene, the cutscene is separate, uh, separate, so usually I play the interlude, uh, basically, before the mission, but since I just uh, told you that I will show you the cutscene, let's just play it immediately, so interlude 4.5, I actually skipped the results of the mission, but uh, doesn't really matter, let's just see the interlude, that's more important, of course. Travelers, you are finally really close to the surface, so we are able to reconnect with you. My ancestors, it seems the exit from the underground is protected by a powerful spell unlocked by Fristus. However, there are only three in the cave. Yes, down to me. The mage god in the Tower of Cedars sealed the exit from the underground with this spell. What he doesn't know is that there is a powerful light upon Cedars. That's why you must get brought to a desolate, desert island. There, you'll find the yellow moon stone, which will allow you to break the spell preventing your passage to the surface. Yeah, so as you just heard, uh, there were only those three stones or crates that we needed to push there, and we needed four of them, so now uh, we will go to the deserted island in the north and try to find the yellow runestone that will actually break the spell, and then we will finally be able to uh, rise to the surface and fight our enemies there. Uh, so sorry for not, uh, for not showing you the results, but hopefully uh, that was nothing too important. 
and at least I showed you the interlude. Uh, so see you next time. Thank you.